Hi, this is Dr. Vivek vherbal.n and in this video I would like to share with you name of some of the vitamins, minerals and name of the herbal medicines that helps awesome in controlling our blood pressure. Today I think that we don't need modern medicine or chemical medicines to control blood pressure. I think herbal medicines are enough. I have seen tremendous results in my practice and after being sure I'm making this video. I am using these herbs from 10 years in my practice and I have seen very awesome results. Hope this video will be helpful for you also. First thing what I do if a person comes to me for consultation for high blood pressure, I ask for vitamin P3 analysis. Why? Because I have seen all or you can say maximum of the people who come with a complaint of high blood pressure, they all have less level of vitamin D3. Vitamin D3, it is named as vitamin but it works as hormone. It's very important for maintaining the elasticity of our arteries and if we'll have good elasticity in our arteries, then only our blood pressure will be in control. If our arteries will be hard, then our blood pressure is going to spike. Why? Because the blood flows from the arteries. Arteries are like pipe and blood is flowing from the arteries. So for this vitamin D3 is very essential and also vitamin D3 will help to maintain the healthy inner layer of our arteries. So for all these reasons we need vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 will also hype your mood, you will be more happier and for that reason also we need vitamin D3 because if you are not happy, you are sad, you are depressed, then this will also spike your blood pressure and this is what we don't want. So vitamin D3 is very important. Second is potassium. Potassium is also very important for healthy arteries and to lower the risk of blood pressure. And what I have seen that people who suffer from high blood pressure, mainly they are depleted in potassium. So that's why a person who is suffering from the high blood pressure, he needs potassium. From where to get potassium? Potassium you can get from just vegetables. Eat more vegetables and this will give you more potassium, roughage, all good stuff, vitamins, minerals, and this will help you to be healthy. But if you get gas bloating because of eating lots of vegetables, then I have lots of videos upon how to use apple cider vinegar. I will try to put the link down below and this can help you. But eat vegetables. This is gonna help you. Third is name of the herb. What I have seen in my practice that use of Mukta Vati. Just search this name on internet. It's from Divya Pharmacy. It's not advertisement. I have no contact with the people who are making this. No one has paid me. This is what I use in my practice and I have seen good results. That's why I am sharing it with you also. Two tablets, two times in a day, empty stomach works good. For some people, it's too much. Then I decrease the dose to one tablet, two times in a day, empty stomach. For some people who are suffering from high blood pressure from long time and they are on classical medicine for a long time, means the modern medicine. For a long time, for those people, even I start with two tablets, three times in a day, empty stomach for a month and then I reduce the doses. But the only thing is I ask patient to keep record of their blood pressure. This is what the patients have to do. They have to measure their blood pressure every single day and they have to write the time and the blood pressure. Maybe two times in a day, maybe three times in a day, but this is very important. I don't want to guess, I don't want you to guess that, oh, maybe this is helping, maybe this is not helping. Just put, measure it, it's very easy. Nowadays, these are automatic ones also, but do it. Don't risk your life. Muktavati works awesome. It can help you. Another Ayurvedic medicine that can help is Cardimap. Cardimap, it's too strong. If Muktavati is not helping, then only try Cardimap. Otherwise, don't try. And I will say it's better to concern to your Ayurvedic doctor and then start Cardimap. Because if I'll take Cardimap or even Muktavati, 
it can lower my blood pressure also a person who is having normal blood pressure their blood pressure can be also lowered by using these herbal medicines they are so strong so use them properly better to concern to ayurvedic doctors nowadays ayurvedic doctors are easy to find they can help you go for a consultation ask them they will suggest you if their medicine is not suiting you then you can ask them about muktavati or cardimap and you will see good results with that it will be always better to concern to an ayurvedic doctor who is near to you and then treat because treating without concern it's not so healthy in general i just want to give you information that herbs work awesome they have very good results and in today's world i don't think we need chemical medicines to decrease the blood pressure i hope this video will be helpful for you and your near ones most important is to smile don't forget to smile because smile will lower your stress and if you will have lower level of stress then your body will perform better and your blood pressure will not spike so often smile more stay happy stay healthy